Hey there, it's Shama Maher, CEO of Scaling Retail. And this week on Retailing Weekly, we're taking a bit of a departure from ripping news from the headlines, and we're talking a little bit about starting a business during a time of recession. Now, many of you guys have been concerned about what it means to grow your business during an economic downturn, or whether or not you should even be considering launching a business during a volatile time period. Now, this is going to be very much dependent on your existing financial circumstances, the nature of your products, and how you're looking to launch into the market. But there are a couple key things that are important to keep in mind as you think about what's ahead for your business or your new business idea. So number one, as the economic downturn will happen, interest rates will decline and we'll likely see access to cheaper credit. So that means that if your credit's in good standing, if you already have an existing business, being able to borrow against that in order to scale your business might actually end up being very advantageous to you during this time period. You're also going to want to keep in mind that people are still going to want to invest. You're still going to have investors out in the marketplace that are going to be looking for good opportunities. In fact, some investors are strategically waiting for economic downturns where there might be less competitors in the space in order to invest and kind of find that innovator or that business that is a diamond in the rough. So. Do not discount going out for fundraising. Don't discount looking for investors. You might actually find there to be some really smart and strategic investors that are going to be looking specifically for something like this in order to help jump into the market. Now, you will have less competitors during an economic downturn, which means that not everyone's going to have the cash flow and the funding to be able to stay afloat and keep things moving. If you're in the position where you have access to cash flow and capital and you're able to weather, let's say, a rough patch such as a recession, then you're going to actually find that you're going to have less competitors. And on the flip side of that, you're going to actually end up much stronger. You're going to end up much more ahead of the curve because your brand would have had that time in the marketplace in order to position itself and gain that market share. Now, in addition to that, when you're thinking about um, labor markets and paying for things, things are generally going to be a little bit cheaper, right? So office space might be a little bit cheaper. Um, finding different opportunities in terms of labor might be a bit cheaper. So it's kind of a win, lose, win, win, depending on what side of the coin that you're on. If you're a business that's already doing well and you're looking at scaling, the number one tip here would be take a look at your cash flow right now. Make sure that you have enough to cover your expenses for the next six, 12 months, which any small business should be looking at what their cash flow ahead is going to look like. Take a look and see what your current existing positioning is around your lines of credit. See if you're in a healthy credit score, which means that let's say you don't have the cash flow, but your credit is good. You'll be able to borrow against that during this economic downturn. And if you're a small business and you're looking to launch, I would say think very strategically about the kinds of categories and the products that you're launching. Lifestyle brands are going to do really well, right? Smaller brands that have a niche voice are going to do well. Also, huge brands that are conglomerates are also going to do well as they're able to take advantage of heavily discounting their products. But when you look at the different segments of who's going to be affected during the recession, you're going to find that the top tier luxury brands are going to be pretty much staying the same as they're looking to continue to sell their products and goods to that top, more luxury consumer base. And you're also going to find that people at the more entry price point, the Kohl's, the Pennies, etc., those types of brands are also going to do well. As a brand that might find itself in the middle there, right? So not quite at that entry level, not quite in that advanced contemporary or luxury, that's really where it's going to be the state of your business and the health of your business is going to become the most important, right? How much of the market share do you currently have and is it worthwhile for you to enter in that market knowing again if you don't have the cash flow to sustain yourself off the bat is gonna be worth it to enter into that price point given some of the challenges that might be coming ahead of you right concerning when it's gonna to come to financing operations etc so guys short ideas here on a much big bigger topic um, as we kind of look forward to continuing our conversations around recessions and business modeling, feel free to leave us comments below. Send me an email at hello at scalingretail.com. We have a lot of clients right now who are launching and scaling their businesses, really doing so, being prepared as to what might come ahead. Uh, we're helping our clients understand things like you know, manufacturing and what it means to do business in China during a time of uh, trade wars or trade challenges. And so as we kind of look to provide strategic counsel, we're also looking at ways to innovate for the future. Um, so not just today, but future forward thinking. All right, guys, send us an email. Come over and check us out at scalingretail.com and I'll talk to you later. Bye.